We're getting you ready for race day as the OUC Orlando Half Marathon training really cranks up for Team Wesh over here. <laughs> not here. It's not here. just me. Right. And all of you, of course, who are running. Yeah. So Team Wesh is Sheldon, Stewart, <laughs> and I. We're all logging miles to be ready for December 2nd. And as a first time runner, I'm learning all that goes into a sport. This sport, it's a lot. It includes some help gearing up from sports bras to accessories to be safe while I train. Hey guys, I'm back here at Track Shack preparing for the OUC Half Marathon on December 2nd. My friend Krista is going to help me pick out some yep. clothing. Krista, as a first time runner, it's kind of hard for me to know what to wear that will last for 13 miles yep. and be comfortable. Right. I want to start with bras. Yeah, this for sure. This is a big topic. What do you have here? Is it something for everyone? Yes, yeah, something for everybody. We carry just about every single cup size and band size that you might need. Every single one of our bras, too, is going to have some type of adjustment in it within books. So you're going to have the bands that can be adjusted to be longer or shorter. You're also going to have the three closure clasps that you're going to need if you want to make the band a little bit tighter, looser. We will measure you and kind of find out for ourselves what you need. You don't want it too big, too small, it can cause chafing either way. And you'll do the whole professional measuring yeah, here in, in sure. store. Yep, and then we'll try a couple different ones on. They're kind of like jeans. They might fit a little differently each one. So we'll try them all on here too to make sure they all have the perfect fit that we're looking for. Okay, so next I want to talk about bottoms. Let's okay. walk over here. Let's go. What do we need to keep in mind when we're talking about bottoms? Okay, so a lot goes into bottoms. A lot of it is gonna be personal preference first and foremost. Okay. So if you like something that's gonna be compressive and like a biker short type of fit, or if you want something that's gonna be a little bit looser, so these are still gonna have pockets on them. The Brooks ones, and most of them, have nice little air vents in the back to keep everything cool, still very breathable. Um, we have everything ranging from a seven inch short all the way down to a, this is a two and a half right here. So if you want short, you want long, we have both. And what about long pants for someone like me who doesn't want to wear shorts Perfect. ever? Perfect, <laughs> long pants. So this is from Viore. This is one of their leggings. Still going to have pockets, you know, the essential part of the short, or the pants. So legging, very sweat wicking, going to be very breathable. Also in Florida, super hot. You want it to be very breathable. So leggings will carry that trait as well. Okay, and since you mentioned pockets, I want to talk about accessories mm -hmm. because I like to carry a lot of stuff with me yeah. when I run. So let's go over to the accessory okay. department. All right. Okay, Krista, for runners who want to carry stuff with them, what are mm -hmm. our options? Yeah, so you can kind of start with more minimal if you want. If you want less on your body, less to carry. You have small pockets, a little bit larger pocket. You can kind of migrate to the waist backpack area. So this is gonna go around your waist and clothes. Little water bottles in there with both eight ounces so you can fill them up and get ready to go. Um, and then you can migrate, yeah, to the backpacks. They have bladders in them that go up to, I think, 40 ounces. So okay. you have a good range. That's a decent amount of water. Yeah. And what about running safety? Running safety. So we have a couple different avenues. So we have mace, so your most basic, primary. Keep that in the little pockets, it fits perfectly in there. This one also comes with a strap that can go around your hand if you don't want to carry any of those. Okay. And then this one is an alarm. Um, it is very loud and it screams at you, so um, pull it, don't pull it indoors or anything like that, but we have tested it and okay. it is effective. So this is not for race day, this is for race training when you're running, possibly sure. alone on the trails. Exactly. Perfect. Okay, yep. thank you so much, Krista. Mm -hmm. uh, for more information on all of this, go to WESH.com and we hope that you stick with us as we train for the OUC Half Marathon on December 2nd. Okay, so each Wednesday leading up to the half marathon, we will be bringing you stories about training for the race and the runners getting ready to tackle the 13.1 miles through downtown Orlando. You can find out more about the race on our website, wesh.com. Just click on the OUC Orlando Half Marathon tab.